In this video, we're going to take a look at phasing, specifically what it takes to create a demolition floor plan, how the graphics are controlled, and the appropriate phase and phase filter settings we need to show the elements that we're looking to show. The first thing that we want to do is set up the different views that we have. I've already got an existing level one set up here. So what I'll do is I'll right click, duplicate view, and since there aren't any annotation elements that I want to bring over, I'll just use Duplicate. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to be Demo Level 1 instead of Existing Level 1. Now I'm going to set the Phase and the Phase Filter to show the way I needed to show for a demo plan. In the view properties, I'll change the phase filter from show all to be previous plus demo. What that's going to do, it's going to show the elements on the previous phase plus the elements that are being demolished on the current phase. The phase needs to be switched to new construction so that it'll show the existing to remain elements and the existing to be demolished elements. From here, what we can do is we can identify the elements that we want to be demolished. For this project, we want to remove all the walls and doors that surround this area between grid lines A and B and 2 and 5. The stairwells and the core are going to be existing to remain. To demolish an element, we can go in and we can simply select it and we can change the phase demolished from none to new construction. You can see when I do that, it's going to change that element, the wall in this case, from being a gray solid line to a black dashed line. Now this gets a little trickier when we're dealing with walls that we want a portion to remain and a portion to be removed. In order to make that happen, we need to use the split tool. I'll use the split element tool to divide the walls into two pieces so that I can demolish the rest of the walls that are, are set to be demolished. Another way to demo items is from the modify tab. We can use the sledgehammer, the demolish tool, and I can go through and I can demolish the elements I want. Now you'll notice when I demolish this wall, all the elements that are hosted within it will be set to demolished as well. Now that I have the elements set to be demolished, let's take a look at the phase settings and what creates these graphic overrides. If we go to our Manage tab, Phases, you can see we have our project phases. We're using the default existing and new construction. We have our phase filters, which you can see here if we go to the one we use, previous plus demo, new is not being displayed, existing and demolished are being overridden. Those are overridden based on these graphic overrides. So if I wanted to make changes here, I could easily do that. So if existing is being overridden, I can do something that will globally change across the project, like change my cut pattern. Instead of it being hidden, I can change the pattern to be a solid light gray color. And if I wanted the, the demo items that are being cut to show more clearly, I could use a heavier line weight. Now those overrides are being implemented because these two settings here for existing and demolish are set to be overridden based on this phase filter. When I hit OK, you can see that now the existing to remain elements are shown with a gray poche, and the existing to be demolished elements are shown with bold lines.